so good afternoon. This is uh, um, Chef Ben Ferguson from Ritz Carlton, uh, New Orleans, and we're going to do a, uh, a black and redfish dish with some uh, saffron risotto and crab meat today. Um, what I'll do first is start off by uh, seasoning the, the, uh, the redfish with some blackening seasoning here. Always want to make sure you do both sides. When you do uh, blackening seasoning, you always want to go go pretty heavy. It's not like uh, it's not like just the salt, salt and pepper. You want to really coat the fish so it's more like a crust. Make sure our, our fire's really hot. The best way to, to do it is use a, um, a cast iron pan, which we have here. Um, uh, it's the old school way of doing it, and also uh, it, it's it's not it, it when it when it gets super hot, it's non-stick, and it also gets that really really good crust uh, on the outside of the fish. We're also going to do a saffron risotto at the same time, so we have a little bit of raw risotto here, which we would cook with uh, diced onions uh, and then some shellfish stock, um, and then once that's uh, about three fourths of the way cooked, we'll take it and set it aside for service. When service starts, uh, we'll add we'll add some saffron to it. Um, and then the shelf and more shellfish stock, um, and then right before we plate, we will add some Parmesan cheese and some butter, um, and that will be a nice creamy uh, under underneath uh, base for the redfish. So that's what we have right here, the finished product, um, ready to go. And it's just now starting to smoke just a little bit, so that means it would be ready to go. And I always pull it off a little bit. And add it touch of oil, but you're not going to need so, that much because it's, um, it's so hot and you're using this uh, cast iron pan like I said before. So you should hear that, hopefully you heard it there. Um, it has a nice sear uh, sound that you're going to hear the crackle sh -sh -sh, uh, crackling. So if you don't hear that, the pan's not hot enough. And you'll put it back, make sure the flame is all the way up uh, or on your stove tops at home, you're on high. You always want to keep stirring your risotto, it's nice and creamy, you can add cheese cheese and butter. Um, you also want to season it salt and pepper as you're going. This is a really rich, creamy uh, style of dish. And that saffron in there, which is actually uh, part of the crocus of the saffron flour, uh, will actually turn the risotto this yellowish orangish color which is really really nice and it's nice contrast to the uh, asparagus and the redfish on the dish. Fish a little bit. Make sure that blackening color is coming out nicely. Just want to make sure that your risotto is cooked all the way. Number one, that your flavor is right so you can always add more salt and pepper um, and that your creaminess, the, the texture in your mouth is enough. You can always add a, more, a little more cheese, a little more uh, crab stock or some butter to adjust that, uh, that creaminess. The, the bottom of the fish is starting to get a little cooked there, and uh, once I flip it over, you'll see the nice crust on there, and uh, so that, that gives you the, the timing to be able to turn it over now. See, we've created a nice, a nice crust on the top that'll lock in all the moisture inside, and also giving it that spicy characteristic of the blackening that we're looking for that's so true to New Orleans. So this won't take that much longer. You want to take another? Another pan, you have a little bit more oil. You always start off with a hot pan. Your asparagus will go in, and you'll start cooking that. If you were cooking a meat dish or a chicken dish, you could use chicken stock or, or veal stock to cook your risotto, or beef, beef, uh, or beef stock to cook your risotto, um, depending on what the dish is. In this case, we have shellfish and fish, so we're using crab stock. Uh, to cook our risotto, but it'll flavor a little bit differently depending on what you're using. It's really, really hot. We're also going to finish our asparagus in a little of the same stock. Again, to get that flavor. Season. Also, you always want to season every step of the way uh, so it's more like layers and layers and layers of flavor. Now, your asparagus is it will be done uh, when it's just soft, and then you'll take it out of the juice, uh, the liquid that you've created here with the crab sock, you get a little bit of that flavor as well uh, on this. So it's just just cooked, you don't want it to, uh, to be flimsy, but you also don't want it to be too hard, uh, so they're just crunching on crunching on real asparagus to be, uh, be a rough thing to eat. Your 
redfish is also done now. Tell. Starting to open up a little bit on the sides here. So all your ingredients are ready for the dish. Uh, you can begin to plate. You have your risotto, nice and creamy, rich, which we've tasted. Salt and pepper. It's got the Parmesan cream in there, or the Parmesan cheese in there, and the uh, some butter. Also the crab sauce. There's a little bit of flavor with, uh, with shellfish as well. Make just a little pile. Keep it nice and tight in the center so it's nice and a uh, uniform dish. Take your fish and uh, just in case it won't break, you want to use a, a little spatula just to be able to get it all out. First one will go on top like so. And then what I like to do is kind of kind of layer it so you'll have some asparagus. them all um, kind of facing the same direction. There. We'll have um, the next piece of fish maybe sitting on top just like that. And then from the pan that you just took the fish out of, it's got a little bit of that blackening flavor in there. So what we did prior was take a little bit of white wine and cream and reduce that, which we have right here. As that reduces in the pan with the with the fish, we had the blackening seasoning. It'll pick up some of the fish flavor from that, as well as the blackening seasoning. It'll reduce, and that'll become our sauce. We also have some jumbo lump crab meat here, which we can get locally. It's really, really sweet, beautiful, delicious whole pieces of crab meat out of the legs. We'll just put that right in here. We just want to heat it up slightly. Um, it's already fully cooked, but you just want to heat it up and get it kind of creamy in the sauce. Once again, we'll season everything. Like I said before, you want layers and layers and layers of seasoning. The best way to do it is to put a couple of, put a couple of lumps of crab meat right on top so they can really see it. It's part of your dish, you know, you're showcasing the shellfish. It's okay if they, if they fall down a little bit too. Put it down. And then you have your sauce, you go a little bit over the top of the fish like this, and then just a little bit very slowly around, and that becomes your sauce. Clean it up a little bit, just in case you made a mess like I did. A little bit of herbs right over the top, and there you have it. We have the uh, black and red fish at the Ritz-Carlton, the new melange restaurant, a little bit of saffron risotto and some crab meat and asparagus. Get to the table. Once again, we have the, the black and red fish, um, a little bit of asparagus, some jumbo lump crab meat, some saffron risotto, and a little bit of uh, white wine cream that we've done from our reduction of the pan. Say welcome to Melange at the Ritz-Carlton, and enjoy the fish. Thank you, Chef.